McGregor actually had seven defeats in his professional career, but we will skip the fight with Floyd Mayweather as it was just a show. So let's start all six Conor McGregor's losses in MMA. Number one, Artemi Sitinko, submission, knee bar, cage of true tree, event, 2008, Dublin, Ireland. Young Connor made his featherweight debut in a loss via submission against Lithuanian fighter Artemi Sitinko. For the first time in his life, McGregor tapped little more than a minute after start of the first round. Number 2. Joseph Duffy. Submission. Arm Triangle Choke. Cage Warriors 39. The Uprising Event 2010. Cork, Ireland. Duffy's young shoulders. A very aggressive switch and then a good kick. Look, look at a totally different style there. In a fight against Irish Joseph Duffy, Connor recited his second professional loss after submitting to an arm triangle choke. He tapped also in the first round. Duffy took a, took a big shot on the way in there, but he has managed to get the take he did, down. He split his eye with that punch. He's badly split the left eye with a shot, and that was a very sharp shot, but it looks like he could have got a fast submission. Yeah, he's got very good control, and he's like, he tapped him. That was a very, it. very fast submission there. He landed, split the eye of Joseph Duffy, but then got caught in a submission. Number three, Nate Diaz. Submission, rear naked choke. UFC 1 in 96, 2016, Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. Nate Diaz choked the entire world. Diaz flirted fans across the MMA world when he defeated the notorious one. Although the submission came after taking a bloody beating, it proved once again that the brothers from Stockton can scrap. Against McGregor took his loss humbly and moved to get revenge. At UFC 202 he did just that, edging out Nate in a controversial majority decision. McGregor let fans know that the king is back. The king is back. Number 4. Habib Nurmagomedov. Submission. Neck crank. UFC 2 and 29, 2018, Las Vegas, Nevada, United States, battle for the UFC lightweight championship. It was like every other Habib fight, right up to the part where it became unlike any other UFC fight in the history of the sport. After three rounds of battering McGregor and putting him on the canvas, Nurmagomedov applied a rear naked choke, the more painful variety where Habib's arm was crushing McGregor's jaw and forced the Irishman to submit in the fort. After which the eagle flew out of the cage, but that's a completely different story. Despite talks of retirement, McGregor was booked to face former UFC lightweight championship challenger Dustin Poirier in a rematch of their 2014 bout at UFC 2 and 57 on 24th January 2021. He lost the fight via technical knockout in the second round, marking the first knockout loss in his career. McGregor was later handed a six-month medical suspension after the knockout. Oh, man. Here we go. This is so nerve-wracking. Like, I, 
Let's go. And here we go. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by the July 23rd. Is in red. Southpaw versus Southpaw. A lightweight trilogy between Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor headlined UFC 264 on July 2021. At the end of the opening round, Poirier landed a punch that forced McGregor to take a backward step. But in doing so, McGregor's ankle rolled up and split. He was unable to get up of the canvas as the horn sounded for the end of the round and the referee helped Dean wait off the fight. Watch they come together here. Oh, he missed. They both oh, missed. He, he oh, fell back on his own ankle. Yeah, they both missed. Yeah, they both missed. It looked like they Look, came together. He fell back on his own yep. ankle yes, and broke yes. it. That Low Light TV was with you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Low Lights. Climactic and intense. A first round. Sure that it is a doctor stoppage by GKO Dustin Paul.